Folks, if you plan to fish for catfish, you're gonna have to round up some catfish bait. Now, if you're an experienced catfish angler, this video probably is not for you because you probably already got your favorite catfish bait. Picking a catfish bait to start out with is a tough decision. There's a lot of confusion out there. All you gotta do is go to any major sporting goods store, browse the aisle, and look for some bait, and man, there's a lot of options. To make things worse, you come here on YouTube or do some Googling, and there's tons more options that people offer up to you. Now, while there may be better options for catching bigger fish or a specific species of fish, in this video, we're gonna talk about some catfish baits that are simple, readily accessible, and that will get you out on the water quickly. Now the first bait is a simple one and honestly for people who are not even associated with fishing it's probably one that they think of it's been around for years and that's earthworms the great thing about earthworms is they are readily available you can dig them up out in your flower bed or you can purchase them at any bait and tackle shop or even a walmart in their sporting goods section Another great thing about using earthworms as bait is they don't take up a lot of room. Unlike using live bait that you need a live well, a bubbler, and a whole lot of other contraptions to keep the bait, worms are very simple. You can carry them around in a bag or a small tackle box. Another great thing about worms is they don't stink. When it comes to catfish baits, a lot of them have a smell and some of them have a worse smell than others. So having a bait that doesn't put off a bad smell that's gonna stink up your car, truck, or SUV is a great option to have. The other thing is earthworms are very affordable, anywhere from three to five dollars for a tub of worms. The other great thing about this bait is when you're done with it, if you have some left over, you can use them again later on. As a matter of fact, I put mine into a refrigerator and I am able to keep these things for months at a time. Important point there, if you're planning to keep your worms and use them again, put them in a cool place. It doesn't always have to be inside a refrigerated area, but in the summertime, keep them out of direct sunlight and keep them out of your car. One of the great things about earthworms is they will catch other fish, a lot of other fish, bluegill, perch, bass, crappie, and these fish make excellent catfish bait when cut up. You can cut these fish up into pieces, put them out on a Carolina rig or fish finder rig, fish them on the bottom, and you've got an excellent bait to catch catfish with. Again, check the laws in your state to see if it's legal to use these pan fish and other small game fish as bait. If you can, it's a great way to keep some rods bent and have some action catching some smaller fish while you're waiting on a bigger catfish to bite. Now, if you're not exactly comfortable with dealing with those squiggly little worms with all that black gunk coming out of them when you stick a hook in them, I've got another bait that is a lot cleaner a lot easier to handle it's not alive it doesn't squirm in your fingers and you can literally eat it if you watch any of my videos you know what I'm gonna say and that's chicken breast yes good old chicken breast same chicken breast you buy in the grocery store that you eat what I do is cut it up into small pieces uh, I don't use large pieces of chicken breast I literally use pieces as big as the end of my thumb and it's caught fish from two pounds all the way up to 50. In all honesty, I can fish all day on one chicken breast. One of the great things about chicken breast is it is literally available everywhere. You can do what I do, go to the grocery store, buy a big pack of it, pull out one for you to use for catfish bait, and then you can feed your family with the other ones. Now, many people will suggest chicken liver, and yes, chicken liver will catch catfish. My problem with chicken liver is while it's very affordable, probably one of the cheapest baits you can buy out there, it is very difficult to keep on the hook. Now, in addition to being tough to keep on the hook, chicken liver is messy. You will get the juices all over your hands and your rods. So in my opinion, based on the fact that it's messy, hard to keep on the hook, I think you're better off going with chicken breast over chicken liver. Now another bait that works surprisingly well, and you can eat this one too, is hot dogs. It continues to surprise me anytime I do a video where I'm using chicken breast for bait, how many people suggest using hot dogs? 
Apparently, these hot dogs catch a lot of fish around the country. Based on conversations I've had with anglers that use them, there is no preference in flavor, size, color, or brand. While I have not used them in years, there are a lot of people around the country that are using them as a quick, easy, affordable, easy to pick up bait that you can get in any grocery store. Now one word of caution with using hot dogs is they're very soft and very tender. This means if you get a bite on one and you don't hook up with a fish, it's probably a good idea to check your bait because it's very easy for a catfish to pull a piece of a hot dog off of the hook. And again, the biggest benefit, what you don't use for bait, you can eat. Now when it comes to store-bought baits, package baits, pack bait that you see in Walmart, Bass Pro Shops, or Academy Sports, these baits will catch fish. Many people swear by these baits, they love to use them. They've caught hundreds of thousands of fish, if not millions of fish across the country. For beginners, I think you're better off avoiding these baits when you start out. There is a little more complexity to using them, and these other baits that I mentioned are much easier to master. When you're starting out fishing for catfish, or any fish for that matter, I think you're better off keeping things simple and affordable so that you spend more time focused on being out there with your family and friends enjoying the great outdoors trying to catch a fish.